And my uncle was telling me one day, when he was coming home from Ken Roach, from the pub one night he seen a fella and his father, the fella's father was on a horse, and the man that was on the horse had his head under his arm. And I don't know if that's true or not, but... And then there's meant to be a Ra over near Raheen, and a fella got pushed off the bike one night. Yeah, I heard that before, yeah. When we were younger, like, when we were our granny or granddad's, you used to be like, don't go outside now when it's dark, the boozer man be outside. He get you. Yeah. Or if they're wanting you to stay inside, like, and you're wanting to go outside to play, they tell you that someone's outside and won't get you. Yeah. Especially when it comes to dark and nighttime. That's when they'll be on about. My uncle was coming home from Clan Roach one night, and uh, he'd seen a man on a horse, and his head was in under his arms. I don't know if it's true now, or maybe my uncle was just a bit drunk. When when I was in primary school, um, a, la um, a lad that used to be in my brother's class, his name was Paul Wickham, he said that, uh, I don't know if this is true or now or not, or he said one evening he came home from school, he said he saw a comb on the road, and he didn't he, he didn't actually pick up the comb. His uncle was in the house, and he came out, and he... Park went in, he asked him to come out and look at the common road and he picked it up and he said the next day his uncle got real sick and he ended up in hot in the doctors and he said that must be because of the something to do with the banshee but I don't know if that's true or not. Did I always say if you cross the when you're driving along on the road and if a black cat crosses you it's bad luck? Or it's a good luck? I think it's bad luck. Yeah, it is bad luck, I think, when a black cat crosses you. Uh, my uncle was telling me one, one uh, story about this black dog who was on a hill and kept barking or something during the night and your man said he was going to kill it. So he seen the black dog one night, or it was during the day or something, he says, I'm going to make a kick at this now. He made a kick and his foot got stuck up on his shoulder and he was meant to be going around for the rest of his life with his foot on his shoulder. Do you know the... Old in the in the Scotty main road, and um, my grandma was meant to be coming home from there one night when he was younger on a push bike, and um, it was like rain and there was thunder and lightning, and he said uh, the lightning hit the handlebars of the bike and he seen the devil dance in the road. Like one time it was uh, Christmas Eve, and we'd be up at me at me granny's playing card like game of Thursday or anything, and. By the time you you have to play it early, so before it come twelve o'clock, and after twelve o'clock, yeah, my granddad would say we may stop playing now. So that's all I know about that. Like if we if we ever hear hear tell of someone after passing away, they always have like the wake in at their at their own home. They wouldn't really have it like in a funeral home as much. Um, when like someone passes away in the house. If it's like your grandfather or that, the sign of respect you're not allowed to have the radio or television on. Um, when we used to go to Mass uh, in, on Easter Sunday night, the Father Burn that was in it for Easter, he used to go outside with uh, a bucket of holy water and sprinkle holy water on all the cars around the car park and come back into church then. My granny, any time she'd be at Mass or she'd bless herself with holy water, she'd always bless herself and she'd finish by tapping her chest. But we just do it normal now and tap her chest once. Yeah. My granny would, every time she'd be on about May bush at the month of May, and she'd go out into the field and she'd pick up uh, one of the skocks and she'd bring it in and like she'd always say, any like eggshells or sweet wrappers that always put on it. And they lay it up for the whole month of May for that year, and year after year again. Some people, like, they have, like, holy medals and all in the cars, in the dashboard or in the sun visor. And they have, like, holy bottles of holy water from Newards. They have, like, ho um, rosary beads hanging, like, from the mirrors and all in the cars. It's meant to be good luck. Yeah, my granny used to live on a farm with my granddad and they'd always, um... If they get Pam at Mass, Holy Pam, they'd always go around and they'd put in a tractor or a car or sheds and little houses like that around the farm and everywhere they'd know, put there everywhere of the year.